This is the read of the day for September 25th, 2016, using the standard Rider weight deck. The card pulled was the Justice card, reversed. This is a major arcana card, and it represents the archetypes or bigger themes of our lives and the truths of the universe. The element of this card is air, which represents thoughts, mental activity, and the mind. The number associated with this card is two, which represents creativity, the womb, gestation, duality, reflection, balance, and change. The planets associated with this card are Venus, which represent love, beauty, and fertility. And Saturn, which represents boundaries and discipline. The zodiac sign associated with this card is Libra. Libra represents cooperation, charm, imagination, diplomacy, optimism, calm, soothing, idealism, balance, and beauty. The chakras associated with this card are the throat chakra, also known as the Vishuddha, which represents self-expression and communication. And the third eye, or Ajna, which represents seeing, perception, and intuitive knowledge. The I Ching hexagram associated with this card is Shi Ke. It represents success through discernment that allows justice to prevail. The runes associated with this card are Thurasas, which represent directed force, true will, magical powers, chaos, and enthusiasm. It reminds us of the benefit of being in the right place at the right time. And Awas, which represents motivation, endurance, strength, sense of purpose, initiation, and immortality. Colors associated with this card are red, which represent power, passion, and action. Yellow, which represent vitality, will, and determination. And purple, which represents intuition, the psychic realm, and problem solving. Keywords for this card include extremes, unbalanced, self-centered, and unfair. Here we see the figure of justice personified, sporting a crown, a red robe, and a sword held upright in the right hand and the scales of Libra in the left hand, seated upon a bench between two pillars in front of a veil. The look of justice's face is serene but stern. The crown represents a relationship with the divine and the intersection of consciousness and spiritual communication. The two pillars represent balance or taking the middle ground. And since they are upright and not lying sideways, we can understand that the pillars of the card also point to the drawing down of the spiritual and intellectual into the material realm. The bench justice sits upon represents pausing and reflection. The veil symbolizes hidden things, illusion, and purity. Veils can be removed, and so they also symbolize initiation into secret and mysterious realms. Finally, we come to the sword and the scale. The sword symbolizes the element of air and represents honor, virtue, communication, and rationality. In the scale, it's a common symbol of justice, truth, and fairness. Justice reversed will appear when balance is not present. It could be that someone is acting unethically, weighing their personal desires more heavily than those of others involved. Or justice reversed could appear when facts or logic are being relied on too heavily. Someone may be being too rational in their deliberation, ignoring their emotions completely. Or someone may be using fairness and justice to hurt others. The takeaway message is this. An eye for an eye leaves the whole 